Shalom to everyone! I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Rabbi Yaakov Klein for giving us this chance to learn a piece from the Heli Gemara Naim together. The Gemara Naim tells us as follows, The same way that a father doesn't speak Lashon about his son, Hashem doesn't speak Lashon about Klai Yisrael. Now what does that mean? The most basic level, a father is never going to speak Lashon about his child. Even if he's having troubles with him in school, problems at home, he's hanging out with the wrong group of friends, He's never going to speak Lashon R about him. Even if he has to go and speak to the rabbi, the Rosh Hashiva, the psychologist, the Chinuch expert, someone's going to help him and guide him to help raise his son on the proper path. And even if he has to say something negative, he's never going to speak Lashon Har because the difference between saying something negative and speaking Lashon Har is Lashon Har is you're looking for the negative in the person. You're trying to highlight the negativity in them. And a father's never going to do that about his child. A father always just wants to help his child. So even if he has to say something negative, he doesn't think negative. Same way about Hashem. Hashem doesn't think bad about Klai Yisrael. He might say something like, You're a stiff-necked people. But it's not Lashon Hara. It's not thinking negatively. It's not truly believing that the person has something bad about them. And we know that in Parsha Shmais, Hashem appointed Moshe Rabbeinu to take Klai Yisrael out. And Moshe Rabbeinu said, B'nai Yisrael, they're not going to listen to me. Why should they listen to me? And Hashem was upset about that. And we know that Moshe is held accountable for speaking Lashon Hara. Hashem said, throw your staff down and it becomes a snake. And we know a snake symbolizes Lashon Hara. And then Hashem says, put your hand into your chest. He put it in, he took it out. And what was there? Saras. We know Saras is the punishment a person gets for speaking Lashon Hara. Now later on in the Chumash, it says that B'nai Yisrael didn't listen. However, what's the difference? The Pasuk tells us, Loishom Rei Yisrael, Mikaitse Ruach Umehavayda Kasha. They were just so down, so depressed, they had no Kayach anymore. They weren't able to pay attention. They didn't have headspace. And that's why they didn't listen. Not because they were bad, not because they didn't want to listen. Hashem is always looking for the positive, and He's never speaking negatively. He's never speaking Lush and Hara about Kla Yisrael. Now let's take this a step further. A father doesn't speak Lush and Hara about his child, Hashem doesn't speak Lush and Hara about Ne Yisrael. So how can we speak Lush and Hara about ourselves? Now what does that mean? We don't go around talking negatively about ourselves to other people, but we do so in our own heads. So many of us walk around thinking we're good for nothings, we're not able to accomplish anything, we did an Avera, we fell, we did it again, how are we ever going to get over this? So many of us speak negative thoughts to ourselves. Now it could be true, maybe we did do an Avera, and maybe we're down, and we're having a struggle, and we're down in the mud, and we're having a difficult time getting ourselves out, but we can't speak negatively about ourselves. The Alter Rebbe says famously, the Halig of Tanya, he tells us that it's not the bite of the snake that kills. It's the poison that kills. The bite of the snake is the Avera. You did an Avera, you got bitten. What's the poison? That's the voice inside your head that tells you, I'm a loser, I'm good for nothing, I'm not gonna accomplish anything in life. See, I did this Avera, I did it again, I'm not gonna get anywhere in life. We always have to speak positively about ourselves. We always have to tell ourselves, we're great, we're amazing, even though you fell, even though you, okay, everyone does, no one's perfect. If we were perfect, we wouldn't be here. Our challenge and our struggle and our job in this world is to do that Avera, fall, and then pick ourselves back up. The base of Ram tells us something beautiful. Hashem had told Maish Rabbeinu, Eye Asha Eriye, I'm going to be with them in this Gaulus, I'm going to be with them in all the other Gaulus. That's what Rashi says. However, says the base of Ram, Eye, I'm going to be with them when they fall, and I'm going to be there to pick them back up. Asha Eriye, when they fall again, and they do that same Avera, and they do more Averas, and they fell again, I'm going to be with them again, and I'm going to pick them up out of the mud and wipe them off and help them along the way. We always have to tell ourselves, Hashem is always going to be with us, no matter where we are, no matter where we find ourselves, no matter how down in the dumps we are, no matter how many Averis we think we've done. We're fantastic people. We have so much good to us. Even the greatest of sinners is full of mitzvahs like a pomegranate. So Eya Asher Eya, we always have to remember that Hashem is with us no matter where we are, no matter how many times we've fallen, Hashem is there to pick us up. We have to remember that it's not the bite of the snake that kills, it's the poison. It's that voice inside our head that tells us that we're terrible. And we always have to remember that if a father's not going to speak Lashon Ar about his son, Hashem is not going to speak Lashon Ar about Klai Yisrael, we have to remember to never speak negatively about ourselves, never think negatively, always think positive, always be forward thinking, always looking to what we can do better and greater, no matter how many times we fell, especially in Shavim, especially in these weeks when we're always trying to work on different Avaidas, remember that no matter how many times you fall, no matter how challenging life is, Hashem is always there to help you, Hashem is not thinking negatively about you, your father's not thinking negatively about you, you shouldn't think negatively about yourself, Self. Don't speak Lashon about yourself. With this, we should be zeched to bring the Gula Shleima B'mher Menu. Everyone should have a wonderful day.